guys, how you doing? Keith here, and welcome to my channel. If you're enjoying what I'm doing here, really appreciate if you hit the like button or subscribe for further content, and let's get into it. So this is going to be a part one of a build series I'd like to do with new and updated HD stuff and the DJI Vista. So there's a frame I've been looking at for a while, probably for the last few months. It came out this year, beginning of the year, and they're from Canada. It's called the RVS Creamer 2. Comes in this nice package right here, and what we get is pretty much your typical stuff. The one thing that I do like is you get battery straps, which I'm already sold on the company that does that. You get you some nice, thick-ass battery straps. Also comes with all your hardware, comes in this bag right here. You get standoffs, short and long. You get all your hardware, 10 millimeter bolts, 8 millimeter bolts, and 6 millimeters. I should say screws. Here's your top plate, your bottom plate, your sandwich for your arms, your arms, and these four screws that they do include that we're going to use on a 30 by 30 stick. You got support braces, your TPU pieces, and that's pretty much it. Let's start off by putting this thing together. You take your bottom plate right here, and your press nuts facing up. This little cutout right here is the front. And then you got your sandwich piece right here. Now, as you notice, there's grooves on the thing on one side of it only. These are going to go along with the 20 by 20 holes on the back here, just like that. So that if you do decide to use a 20 by 20 stack, you will cut those off. So, what I'm going to do first here is take this, add a little blue Loctite to start it off, and put it in the stack holes right here. And we're going to do that for all four. And let's do that now. Don't tighten them, just get them really close. against the inside of the arms right here. As you can see, these arms are nice and chamfered as is along the, the, uh, as long as the rest of the frame. You got some nice slits in them right here. This spot is gonna be on the outside of the frame. What you're gonna do is take the frame right here, separate it a little bit. It's still a little too tight. All right, when you build this, don't make them as tight. What you're gonna do is they're gonna sit in there just like this. That groove is gonna go right into the arm and they're gonna sit just like that. Then what you're gonna do is take your 10 millimeter screws here, add a little Loctite, which I always use, and put it in the outside arm right here. Now you're gonna get that relatively tight. Don't crush it down. We're gonna tighten everything after we get all the screws in. But now we're going to go ahead and repeat that for all four other sides. And there we have it. They're all in. They're all not tightened down yet. See how they move a little bit? So now what we're going to do is... Take our 2.5, what I like to do is start on the uh, inside right here, just get them all snug. It's a great thing to have these power drivers, you can also set the torque on them so they just break free when you get them tight. You don't have to worry about crushing anything or over tightening anything, just past the point of being snug and it's great. Hear that? satisfying all right so 
that's like 50% done right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take two more of these screws right here, these 10 millimeters, and put them aside. We're going to get two more short standoffs for the front and these two long ones for the rear. Going to take your side brace right here and you're going to orientate it with the little notch facing the back. Let me put this this way. This might be a little tricky at first until you get started. Get a little Loctite time on our screws. We're going to start it in there. What I've noticed with this frame so far is that a lot of the holes are very tight. So might not be the case with yours, but mine were uh, pretty snug. As you can see, I had to drill them to get them through. Same thing with the back right here. Yep, that one's tight as well. There we go. So what you can do for now is take one of these standoffs. There's already a little Loctite on the threads left over. And I just finger tighten them on there for now. Don't drop them on the floor like I just did. Now let's find where that went. Alright, so now we're going to take another 10 millimeter screw. Push it through there. Get our other side pod brace. That's also kind of snug there. Take your driver or your hand screwdriver, either which you have, and do that. It's actually kind of nice because it holds it in there. Push that one through. Grab your standoffs. There we go. Now we go to the back here. Let's see. How far did that one stick through? I don't know if I like that. Yeah, you're going to take the 8mm one, put it through there. Take your back stand off, put it on. Take another 8mm, put some Loctite on it, put it through the back. Just put it on there finger tight. Now you can go ahead. If you have strong enough hands, if not, you can always take a pair of pliers. I might get lucky on here. Mine happened to snug up. And when you put on the top plate, they'll be screwing the opposite way, so it will turn into these. You can always double check them after your build. When you put the top piece on, which I'm going to do. Just get these on here snug for now. Those don't want to grab, see? so we'll get them from the top. Alright, so now you're going to want to take your top plate right here. And we're going to get... These screws right here, and it's pretty much just putting these last six screws in, and your frame is done. Quick, easy. Actually, look, before I put that in, see, I almost made a mistake. You're going to grab your TPU parts here that came with the quad. We will be doing this in build, build part two, but since I have them, I'll show you what you would normally do. You would slide those on there. Those would be for your antenna coming out for your VTX. And then since we are going to be using these for our camera, this is going to be for our Vista that's going to be sitting in here. Of course, uh, put the screw in already. Let's pop that off real quick. This will be sitting in here like that. And then you can either put these underneath, or you can use these on the side as a standoff holder for your antenna tubes. 
but we're not going to be using those. All right, let's slap this back on. Use your Loctite. Grab our driver. Start that in there. I always like to leave everything semi-snug until the very end and then crush everything down snipe. This is the most tedious part right here. Yeah.